I think right now is the perfect moment to reveal our Hoi Front National 2023 one on one mod. My goal right now will be to have a first sneak sneak peek and really trigger a lot of you guys to go to Tommy K Discord and go to the one on one hub, which is where you can play our one on one mod, not this one, and talk about it. Talk about what's unbalanced. You know, right now this mod is an alpha stage. This is not a full release. We're not ready yet or anything. Like, oh, this mod sucks. We're in a testing phase. That's what an alpha is. And we will need your help, people, to come to the one on one hub play the mod against other players and really test it out you will really help us here we're trying to build the hoifront international man okay what do we got here we go this is pretty big actually they worked on this for months man they worked on this for months this could really lead to the biggest hoifront tournament of all times easily welcome to the home of the hertz fire and four esports this is the official tommy k hertz of iron four one-on-one league map our goal so to facilitate the best possible competitive for experience for players and viewers the gameplay places two opponents on opposite sides of a mirrored continent only total domination is enough to win balance identical match start scenario for both players individual skills is the most important part in this player skill expression ensure the best player can still make impactful micro decisions to win decisive battles on land and sea and in the air the mod needs to support the nuance of existing high level multiplayer mechanics move downtime games need to be exciting for viewers there is no build-up phase start the game with a fully functioning economy basic research and decent military force we can change that later in the game but i think a base version like this is fine Diverse strategies. Build your own path to victory. Each player has full control over their starting production. Balancing will empathize on ensuring that there are multiple ways to win a match. True to Hearts of Iron 4, a map that is inspired by real world locations and adapted to competitive play. The mod should play just like before, with some of the fat trimmed off. Features. A custom built one on one map. Remember for the perfectly balanced game with the continental Europe scaled fear to war? Earth inspired layout for binos and tiles. This is the first public playable version of the map this version emphasizes the functionality above all other considerations updates are already planned and ongoing but we're eager to let the public get their hands on it vanilla gameplay systems making use of the hard work done by paradox and to save some time we've integrated all possible vanilla gameplay system into the version currently playing navy and nations we need your feedback and that is important chat thank you table tots what is very important here is that you don't look at the stream right now like this mod sucks we are in a testing phase. We need your help to test, 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 to get your, uh, uh, your suggestions about what can be done better, to get suggestions on how to balance this better. And we have some months, I would say like two months, one, two months, to balance this map and make it good. Once this map is playable and good, and we all agree on it, I will then start working on the Hoi4 one-on-one league, the biggest league of Hoi4 esports of all times. Okay, we need more we need more backgrounds that's for sure oh shit oh shit first things first i want to we have to be real here totally honest the first thing i want to change is this tommy k base stuff i want to take tommy k out of this sure it's funny you're laughing but i want this to be very official i want this to be a very official mod i want the whole world to play this mod in one-on-one -on -one. and that's why i personally would like to take this tommy k stuff out of it if that makes any sense i don't want to I don't want to be so connected to it that my face is in it. I want people to play this that hate Tommy K. If you don't like Tommy K, I still want you to be able to play this. Oh shit. That's exactly how I wanted it, man. Look at the different terrains, man. Dude, that's exactly what I was looking for. And it's utterly mirrored, man. Oh fuck yeah, dude. I think the size is perfect. In the beginning, I was like, is this too small? But no, the front line is massive. So, just like we talked about, different biomes. Like here we have a desert biome. And here we have everything different. A hill, a plain, a big city in the middle, urban. Lovely, lovely. And they all have factories and shit. The map, what do you think about the map? I disagree with the instant start. Seems very Call of Duty-like. I think give them some minutes for a setup. I believe it should start as just pure micro. And look, you need to understand something, right? I know a lot of weird things are going to be said here. You need to understand something. When this is good, we have the groundwork to expand it. You know how hard it was for them to produce this? Imagine this is good, it works, and then in a new upgrade, we add the build-up phase. Like the first international is just pure micro. Then 2024, we can have we can have a build-up phase, or maybe earlier. I don't know, but this is a great uh, groundwork for start. Now let's press this button. I really hope it matters. It does matter. Does it matter enough though? I think the question is really I don't know if this is balanced. If I compare it to the Steel Speed 5 stuff, if I have three tank divisions, do I have enough fuel for them? But that is something we have to talk about balance-wise. I like how it's mirrored, though. 
So, for example, if a player wins the north, he, he takes certain resources, gets stronger. And you get industry, I think. I think there's industry in this. Yeah, there's industry in this. So, once again, if, if your enemy beats you in some of the shit, you, um... You, you, you lose sifts. We need people to play this a lot so they can be like, ah, there should probably be some fuel here. Eight aluminum is not enough. Stuff like that. Okay, you start with stuff and can come up with your own stuff. Okay, just like the five block kind of. And you start with 20 divisions. Yes. Oh, I, I, I like that. I like that there's a mountain here. That means you have to micro that. Oh, I want to make a free front line, man. I like that. What are these division templates? There's seven twos. Basic seven twos with shovels. So now, interesting how there's no rivers. Uh, there is a river right here. One thing I feel right now that you could have a bit more rivers. Like in the early game, there should be a river already. Because rivers make the game very tactical in the early game. Oh, I think they stepped away from that system. where Because I was always thinking you spawn units with PP. Like you have a... My basic idea was always both players make mana, PP. And that mana is turned into units. And the more you take certain things, like especially... Let's say you take this, you get a bit more PP than your enemy, and just only want to move the game. We cut that for version one for PP spawns. Okay. So it's very important that the generals uh, offer a big variety of stuff. That's important. Like if there's only one guy has really broken, like Eisenhower. So at the moment you just build real army. You build your own real army. But this makes something clear, chat. You're not really supposed to have epic games at the moment. This we're looking for ideas, bug fixes. What do you think needs to change? That's why, once again, I'm urging you, please come to Tommy K Discord. Get to the one-on-one -on -one hub. Here, there's a general chat and a suggestion chat. Please join it. Let's come together and build this mod. I think what's beautiful here is we have the groundworks now. Uh, it is planned to have Navy involved later in the game. My plan was that this area is Navy. So Navy actually makes sense in this game. And right here is an island. And taking that island is like really important. So we we also include naval gameplay. But only here. Like not here, not here, not here, only here. But I think that's all planned. We're going too far. I like the air zones. That's actually high high IQ uh, micro gameplay. The unit flex are switched. The unit flex are switched. Yeah, the unit flex are a bit... Yeah, the, oh, here we have a first bug. Yeah, I have the Nazi flag. That is a bug. There's one point I want to talk about. In the Speed 5 tournament, the mods are great. I like that you have map choices. It's very cool. Again, no shit talking to the Speed 5 developers. I think they did an amazing job. I want you guys to talk to me about what you think was useless, unnecessary, and shouldn't be in the mod when we talk about the Speed 5 mod. There it is. The mod is up. Spam it a bit more. Please subscribe to the mod. Check it out. Join the community. Let's build something together here, man. Uh, one big issue that I have seen in this mod. The build-up time is too long. Um, the for like how many minutes was the build up like 10 minutes 20 minutes you're just watching the stream and you're watching the build up which i think is kind of fun sure how the players build up and shit oh what pick are they gonna choose etc i want our mod to have less build up a big aspect of hoy is picking a strategy picking focus and tailoring your build yes yes and that's why i personally think our mod should have a build up phase but smaller six months or something how do you make a build up phase faster but more interesting in regards of our mod. It's not so much about what you build. It's not so much about what you build here. It's about focus choices. A big, big thing that's going to make our one-on-one -on -one mod better is a very, very good focus tree. And a quick focus tree. And it's a focus tree that, number one, uh, do you want grand battle plan, mass assault? What do you want to do? Do you want to go tanks, heavy tanks, mediums? Choices. Lots of choices, man. Right? Like, like here, choices. I like that. If there's no build-up phase, there's not a lot of strategic choices. And even though I want the map to be really equal, because it's I want I want this to be the most equal Hoi 4 game of all times, giving the players choices of what kind of focus they want to go down is, is makes a lot of sense. So my idea is to just cut out the times on the decisions. You can just make selections fast and boom, game starts. That's what I was thinking. Here's my ground idea I had in the beginning. You go into the game like this, right? And the game starts almost instantly. Let's say you have one month of positioning your troops. In order to make the game really fast, and let's be real, ranked games should be fast nowadays with ADHD and everything that these kids have nowadays. The way to make a game fast is there's no build-up, there's no early game construction, no. But here's my proposal. Each player starts with 1,000 political power. You then open this, and you have a shit ton of choices. An anti-tank division, 20 with. A 20 with blocker. A 40 with artillery. Uh, a special marine, a heavy tank, a light tank, a medium tank. And you use that 1,000 political power to build your starting army. Very Warhammer 40k-like. You have a certain points, and you put that into an army. 
And already you can like do tactical decisions. Oh, I'm gonna do heavy tanks, but this guy's like, I think he's gonna do heavy tanks. What if I spawn two heavy uh, anti-tank divisions? That actually pierced the heavy tank. And then they spent the 1,000 points. They have an army ready, and the game starts. Bam! Isn't that just lucky then? I mean, you can just save some PP and counter your enemy. But that will be a, a, a different approach. So we have two approaches now. The build-up phase approach, where people pick focuses for their tactical efforts. Or the political power approach, where you spend mana on a certain army. Warmer 40k style. It's better to let them design templates, though. You want to give more choice to player. I agree with that. I agree. That's a good point. I think I'm wrong. Players should be allowed to design templates. Because in the end, we want to give the player... A lot of freedom to design their own playstyle. And focuses that lock each other out so you have choices. 100%, yeah. Focuses complete instantly. Decisions give you stuff to build up your template. And then finally focuses divisions that give you an X amount of those divisions. So you don't waste time in recruiting. Another thing I want to open up. One thing I disagree with and don't want is spawned from focuses. In this mod, again, it's a great mod. No shit talking. But for example here. If you take this focus, you get a division. I think I'm against that. In, my, in our mod, I think... The player should build every division themselves. Focus is the way to go, Emo, so the casters can look in specific builds. Yeah, if it's just let's go, it's very boring for the casters and casters and esports and tournaments and Twitch viewers. They want to see a storyline. Oh, he's picking the Soviets. That's so interesting. The first goal would obviously be the player comes in and he builds his build. This right now is way too one dimensional. It's just the truth. It's way too one dimensional. It's not good. So you click on focuses and you start taking decisions here. Now, designing that focus tree is hard. And you know what? What if we all design the tree together? What if we do it public? What if we do it with life? And we start just a little brainstorm about the focus tree. Like military, industry, navy, and I should probably go like this. And then this should happen. You guys up for that? Sounds cool, huh? And I'm now on Discord with Danger. Danger. Oh, all the other devs very much invited too. What's up, Danger Man? What's up? Well, I've, I've been working on some mock-ups last night. Uh, kind of just give us some structure to start talking about. Because there's some ideas that we have already that like I think we want to do for sure. Like we have an idea that I don't know if you've been reading, but one of our ideas is like uh, we actually have a pick and ban phase in the decisions so that you can actually ban a country if it's too overpowered or you don't want to play against it. It's very easy through decisions to have um your nation's laid out uh if you look at the mod chat we actually have an image of it you guys as if the dev dev team are really into this idea of nations like picks yep. like a hero pick in a moba for example yeah when we yep. think about the utter basic of a focus tree it is interesting to already think of certain picks i'm obviously also for the picks i, I love that i think yeah. it's great i i I think look uh, let's let's maybe talk about the pillars of the of the game of right so what's super important history right like you love it i just saw you watch an hour uh, the documentary about D-Day, like I think a lot of people who are playing the game are nerds for that shit, right? So we want to yeah. have nations that are like, <clears throat> we take the nations and we, the things they did the best, we make them powerful at. So Germany has fucking amazing tanks, but they're going to have tons of logistic problems. They're going to be overstretched. They're going to have to, they might be the best at winning tactical fights, but strategic fights in terms of like the wider map, they're going to struggle at, you know, because we have the Soviets who have like mass mobilization you have like they start with double the units but the units are half as strong you know like those kinds of ideas where we like make them feel like very different from each other so that there's a reason to pick a different kind of play style within reason if we like lean into what these nations did historically also some alt history stuff too as well like there's cool shit that never really took off like some of the jets maybe the v1 rockets for germany like there's cool tech that if we balance into the game <clears throat> through these decisions right like we could make some like the coolest version of hoi 4. think about that idea and then like extrapolate that to all the nations we can make such fucking cool nations that play really well it sounds ideas. great i'm totally for nations even uh, subcategories for nations so i'm not just germany i'm a certain certain germany i agree with it i'm totally with it but we should all never forget that the goal is always esport balance right we have to be very, exactly. we have to be very careful that we never get to a point where uh, a Russia pick puts you so deep into a certain meta that this player can't do anything else anymore. Uh, yes. There still should be freedom that even though you picked a Russia, you can still do certain things. With the, if we take this approach, we take like we we start small, right? You make them, you slowly build up each nation from the ground up of like a baseline that we know is balanced. You have to be smart with how you control this development for sure, so that it doesn't get like out of control where one can, one country is super overpowered. But then on that topic, that's why we have the ban system too, right? 
Yeah. It's like the like Dota, like League. This new cha this new League champion is super broken. Great, ban him. And that actually sounds the idea on paper sounds amazing to release new heroes and actually go. Here's the new yeah. South Africa hero. Here's a here's mm -hmm. an Australian hero. You could make all these different paths. That that sounds very yeah. interesting. But yeah, I think we need to really and I think you guys know that be at the base level right now. We we need focus trees first, right? What I'm feeling right now, unfortunately, is it is a copy of the Speed Five stuff. Where you have one tree leading into your character pick and one industry pick. I think it it largely would be the same, uh, especially for the start, right? Because at the start we don't want to have nations just yet. The initial start, like what we would first build, is just default versus default, right? You each have the exact same potential starts. You have the same menu of choices. It's very similar to what they're doing. I think the interesting we should, thing we should go for is they when they do those decisions i find them too small like it spawn 124 with division like to me that's useless it's not useless but we need impactful decisions like i want to have an army that feels different when i've selected a focus right like i want four tank divisions and you know two 40 width infantry divisions and stuff like that where it's like i've made a choice and now my army plays a very specific way not yeah. just like i have one cool division now like that to me is not really what we're looking for right but are we all agreeing that the focus tree has these two main wings, which is one, the economic build-up tree, and then the nation pick tree, which is kind of speed five, but... If we are doing nations, when we get to them, I think inherently industry is tied to the nation, right? There are mm -hmm. specific things about, example, Japan versus USA. When we add those two nations, because I think they are part of the core ones. Once we have Navy, we want to have those two. They have wildly different industries, and that's part of the game, right? The Americans have enormous industry, but you'd give them a very weak start to the game. So they are playing for late game always, right? They yeah. want air power, late game production of medium tanks, uh, fighters, uh, heavy bombers, stuff like that. They're playing for industry always, like strategic warfare, uh, attrition, versus Japan is like very upfront, strong elite units, but they don't have the industry for attrition. So they have to win the game in like kind of a coup de gras. They have to try and win like a couple battles very early, very aggressively, and like take it home right away. They're like a Zerg rush or a red deck in magic, right? They're like very aggressive and they don't have the industry to back them up versus United States, totally industry, weak start. But, but are, are you proposing the way I understood this right now? We're not having two wings. We're having just your pick also involves your economic tree that's what i kind of got from that at least for the start it would be like okay you start with 20 sieves 20 mils and then we have the build-up phase which is like i did the math last night if we do uh plus five thousand percent production uh sorry pr plus five thousand percent construction we can have inside of three minutes all of the construction you would like kind of would need for a pre-war phase within a month in game speed which we i don't know if you noticed tommy we've locked the speed to speed three all the time yeah. since we want to have one speed all the time i feel like if the build-up phase is too fast like a guy builds 10 sifts in two seconds that's too overwhelming for a viewer that's too crazy that's too this is too fast yeah. what is going on you know we can play with the speed for sure 100 percent agree we have to find the right spot then right now we're at the big question do we want to go to focus tree that has again the speed five model of nation pick and then economy is just the same for everything the the the, the pro on that is that uh if you have the same economy tree for every single nation and player it's very balanced or we do not go to wings and we just have the nation choice and then inside the nation tree you get your industry what i'm feeling firstly is that when you have the economy tree everybody the same like speed five it's very very balanced you don't have to like go to deep when you when you then design the nation you don't have to think about economy it's very balanced right maybe yeah. a bit more in depth though <clears throat> than the speed five event they just took the mills all the time when i watched like the speed five stuff within the industry like those choices to me when i look at them not that they're inconsequential but like you could just when you choose the nation if you want the nations to feel different enough you just give those bonuses like I don't really know why I have to do three different selections to get 20 mils. Like, just give me 20 mils or not. If we want the game to be faster and simpler, right? Like, why is this three decisions that take 30 days each? This could be one decision, zero days, bang, I want 20 mils, 40 and uh, 40 sieves, example. Someone in the chat just said something that I think sounds pretty good. If you uh, have, like, not, not, not one tree for each nation, but, like, three trees that you can just pick from straight up. And, then like, each one is, like, a specialization. For example, you have a Germany tree that starts like this and then goes into economy... Uh, and then, let's say, army, navy, and air. This is cool. Very interesting. 
But uh, we have to think about this from a development standpoint. This is much more complex. Like you would have to make every nation, every I want to call it hero, would be very complex and will take more development. But also, if you do not take the basic economy tree that everybody shares, there's a much higher chance of imbalance happening. For if Germany, USA, UK, etc., they all have their own industry tree, it opens the option of imbalance much more. For sure. And we'd have to play with like the amount of sieves and mills that are different. The, the real way to do this, if we're going to do this in the right order, is you figure out what the most baseline balanced version of this is. Okay, what feels bad? Do we need 30 sieves and 30 mills for a game start on a map this size for like two balanced mirrored uh, nations right now? Like what's the basic? Okay, 30, 30 sieves feels good. 30 mils feels good. We balance everything around that, the construction speed in our build up phase, we get all that right. And then we go, okay, now let's add nation. Well, Japan has a weak civ civilian in industry, but they start the game with strong mills. Okay, so then we give Japan minus 10 civs, but plus 10 mils. I, I think you're making it like too that. complicated with this kind of historical thinking. If I think this kind of historical thinking you talk about should be added to the smart in the army way. Like if you pick yeah. Japan, your army changes. If we just exclude the entire economy of this historical thinking, we already make our job much easier, like the Speed 5 mod, and we don't even have to think about it that much anymore. And we can focus okay. our resources much more on, on army stuff. Okay. So, you know, so when when I think about hero picks, I don't think about history and they start differently. I think about their paths going down. What, what doctrines do they have? Uh, for example, uh, superior firepower or mass mob. Uh, what yeah. uh, research bones do they have, like a light tank or a heavy tank? You know this this whole history approach you do. I don't know if it fits. You okay, know? I'll I'll take I'll take what you just said and I'll tie it into the history. Then okay, exactly to your point. Germany then, they have they start the game with heavy tanks. They're the only country that starts with that, right? Just like you said, what research bonus do they have? Well, they start the game, they have heavy tank one or two, whatever, like to re to reflect the tiger, right? Like I think there are cool things in history that we want to lean on. We don't have to necessarily imbalance it, but What's more exciting than knowing like the Germany player has a Tiger two tank division? Like that's sick, right? Like that's shit we yeah, care it about. Yeah, reminds me of the Speed Five event where the Germany pick had this one Tiger tank and right, like really that's sick. No, that, yeah. we find ways to implement it. But to your point, be careful and don't overdo it, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. I think we're aligned then. Like I totally agree. Like we don't want to overdo it and make it like completely yeah, it, messed it up. It would be a big mistake to create a game for the player where everything's pre predetermined for them. So what do you want to see in a basic economy tree? The game starts. Yeah. And the player opens the focus tree and it is very speed 5 -y. Right here is the economic tree that I think we should make a bit more exciting than uh, the speed 5 event. Even though a cool thing speed 5 did is that the more you stay in a tree like sifts or mills, the more exponentially they grow. I think that was very interesting. Makes people greedy. And then the other 80% of the tree is the, the picks. UK, Germany, Russia, USA. So no matter what nation you pick, your economy, you can always pick uh, a certain path that doesn't deviate whatever but from what everyone else has to choose yes, so like basically uh, yeah and the big pro for that is, is it's balanced and be yep. much easier for the developers to put in yeah, also I, I, number three we do not, when we create the nations the heroes we don't have to think about economy already our brain is more free regardless of what nations we're going to make the map has a specific size and feel to it right no yeah. matter what country you're going to pick we have to figure out what feels right in terms of numbers of divisions armor air wings all that stuff we have to figure that out no matter what kind of country you pick so mm. we can figure out without putting a flag on it what feels like a good amount of units good amount of sieves mills at a default level okay. and then we can add the country on top after and go like okay great but we, we all came together to this two winged kind of focus that's good indeed indeed yeah. then the question will be if we do just a basic gameplay tree and no nations yet the it's very important that's really really important that the gameplay tree offers diversity that it's not mm -hmm. uh, one-dimensional, like like this yep. leads to this leads to this. So I think one of the thing we can simplify as well. It doesn't have to be nine decisions. It can just be three, right? It could just be like I want uh, a slow build up. I want like a more of a late game build. I want a, like a middle game build, and I want an early game build where you just have like the first section is 20, 20 sieves, uh, five mils. The other one is ten sieves, ten mils. The late game is sorry early game is five sieves 20 mils we can think of it like that they could just be like flat out what do you want your economy to be right now at the start of the game in terms of, do you want it to be like more upfront or more late game he kind of locks it in with one choice yeah you say like i want an early game uh mm -hmm. i want an early game focus i want mills up front right now i'm not going to be building a lot 
I want to rush the player down with like, I'm just going to build a million light tanks. Our goal is, I think everyone agrees, that this mod should be a bit faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meaning, one, the players have to start with an already good economy. That, yep. that like it's, it's we shouldn't create a scenario where the economy tree is your economy that would be I agree. slow and we want to go yep. against the build-up phase so the economy tree is a bit of a bonus it's yep. it's like i want to be greedy i'm doing some sifts oh i'm kind of beating my enemy i can now click on some economy stuff um so that is one thing to keep in mind that the economy tree isn't as important as in the speed 5 mod also when you had talk about an economic tree here one thing that makes an economic tree interesting for the players in such a fast-paced uh micro-based map that doesn't have a big build-up is to do something speed 5 didn't do and that is not just to give sifts builds and naval stuff but also talk about equipment production bonuses uh supply hub production focuses mm. railway focuses maybe 10 totally. percent construction speed fo uh, bonuses that that yes. that is for example an example how our tree will be more complex than speed 5's one because they only did hey yeah. here's some sifts right uh, but we actually work make with... them a choice as well yeah and like a player is like okay i'm in a good position right now if i go a bit into my economy tree i'm going to end up with 10 percent production bonus that seems pretty good yeah, right now i love that idea and tommy one of the things we did in the map is that we built we tried to build the desert to be similar to what you see in the sun and blue map yeah. where there's like a there's a gap between the railways and if you want to push to the other side you probably want to build a railway and a supply yeah, hub, right see that. like nice and that's that's what we want. We want that kind of shit in that area. And so, if we want to have those focuses in the industry area, that's fucking sick. And I agree with you. We that's put, a great idea. Okay, we just open railway buff, up. supply yeah. hub buff. Right? We put all that stuff in there. When you decide, I'm gonna push in the desert, and I know I want to flank him now because let's say there's a stalemate in the middle. Totally. If a player wants to go pro desert, I want to take the desert in the south. Uh, there's a certain path I can do in the economy buildup that actually gives me uh, a better supply hub buildup. Could also try something like this focus gives you 30% supply hub building uh, speed for one year or something. So players yeah, actually yeah. actually, that's something I like too. Focuses that give you a buff for a certain amount of time. So the like players have the right to, time. the players have to, you know, I, I want the players to show skill and be esports and they have to time stuff. If I take this focus, I get a certain bonus, like let's say, um, supply hub building for one year so i need to like use it correctly should yeah. the economic build-up tree start with one single choice like speed five or should it already start with different choices because i believe it should already start with different choices Makes i agree that. completely i was gonna I let say, you say different. that yeah. okay so i i had an idea like an example so what if the first choice is like free, a free choice free focus choice where you could pick early mid or late game sims or military factories whatever and in the if you pick like the early one, you gain immediately some sieves. If you pick the middle one, it's like balanced. And if you pick the late one, it's like you gain sieves, sieves like the most sieves after a certain time. Yeah. So you can oh, play like cool. long con if you want to play like greedy. Yeah. Then you're weaker at the start. That totally. Sounds cool. I... Also, that sounds very cool. The the fast one gives you just flat out. Let's just say six sieves. The middle one gives you three sieves plus 20% construction speed, and the final one gives you two sifts plus 50% construction speed or something. Also, I think before we can get into an economic design here, we have to first of all answer the question for ourselves, how long is the build-up time? Uh, and, and then how long are, are the um, focuses? If you have a lot of 70-day focuses, the focus tree is not that big. There's not many focuses. Yeah. If focuses are like 35 days or 10 days even, you have a lot of focuses. How we set it up for now or how we've thought about it is we want the game to be played at speed 3 and we want games to be under an hour. So within that, if the game's going to take... So at speed 3, one year is about uh, 50 minutes. So if we think of speed three and one year being our goal, from within that, we can start to play with these numbers. We make sure that within the first month, the buildup is done. Mm -hmm. Now that would be three minutes. That might be very fast. Maybe it's two minutes, right? Uh, maybe that's two months. So we make it like six minutes. If the game's gonna be 12 months, you don't wanna have more than probably two months of buildup. And that means we're going for about six minutes about. It can't be too fast. For example, I'm against Insta focuses. I think focuses should be um, first of all, let's talk about this. Uh, when the game starts and you click on events, there's a timer running down, right? When the game starts. How many days should the, the, the warm-up, the, the build-up phase one be? To, one to two months, which is three to six minutes. I think that we could let go of ten minutes, you know, I think. Yeah. So, well, that's... I, now we're digging into, like, that's... Now we're digging into our hour-long games, right? That's, you have to think about that. We, nah, the more nah, you nah, extend nah, your uh, build-up phase, the longer the game gets. One thing I know as a caster, and I think it's good for entertainment and people watching us, 
no insta focuses it, it can't be 20 hd yeah. right it should be you click a focus and then it it takes for 10 days or 20 days so the caster could be like ah oh, you chose it if, if they just yeah. click, click 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 this is my build that's too adhd that's too crazy okay. yeah. i see right now you did a thing right that even if you click on speed five it's always the same speed right it's always locked yeah. this is actually perfect we could actually right now do a test we do uh, need to we do need to figure out our win conditions of like okay hold this many things for this long either either you either you cap the most victory points or we have three main points that you need to hold and holding those points gives you a, a, an income of points. So it's like in, steel division is almost yeah. the same. Oh, I, you you you, you like, kind of damage the enemy's morale, you know. Yes, and if yes. they go to zero, you win, right? Yeah. Yeah. What I don't like about the um, speed five version is that, like, technically, you could, especially with a map like ours, because it's much more open, you could like hold the entire map, the whole game, and then lose the point with one second left, and you lose the game, right? I don't love that. Like, that feels cheesy. It should be more about, like you guys are saying, like you work a score down, but that could lead to very defensive weird stuff, right? Like where like, oh, okay, he's just entrenching, I can't win, it's over. Yeah, yeah. Once again, though, I think we're, that's, we're, we're... That's where I think the strategy is like early game and mid game and late game come in. When the front line is as tall as this, as we have it here, you often don't have stalemates. The front line is just too big, there's mm -hmm. too much micro going on, too much mm -hmm. crazy stuff. Yeah. Like with the North yeah. Africa map they had, you have stalemates a lot, but with the front line, yes. like this, it should be fine. While we're here, Tommy, really quick, when you're looking at the map, I uh, wanted to make sure you knew, too, like, uh, with the rivers and stuff, me and uh, Lou talked about, like, how to incorporate, like, you were talking about more rivers in the starting area. I, we're already on it. Like, we have, we're have, we going to break up, like, the, the middle area into more of, like, what Northern Europe looks like with uh, the Rhine and the rivers, like, kind of giving you, like, these different sections right where you can push through and hold different defensive lines to kind yeah. of slow things down and make it tactical like you were saying yeah uh be I'm able always to, like, scared, um to... just just really quick I'm, I'm, i always every time i look at this map i always imagine try hot kids what will they do right yes and i'm always scared that they take one tank and they just walk through the planes like bomb you you know yes yeah. yes we have to break up the, the we, we totally yeah. know this the planes right now are like they're like big fucking streets we we're not gonna have them like that yeah, we're gonna change got... them yeah something you notice when you look at europe on vanilla map is that like there's no straight lanes between things there's always a forest tile somewhere that pops up or a hill somewhere or a swamp right that breaks up the the straight lines and we're definitely yeah. gonna put that in we're gonna fix that but yeah, the map is beautiful for now. I think it's a great start for an alpha. I'm right now doing a speed test. Um, I want to see what 10 minutes... Yeah, we can also change the speed to whatever we want, boys. No, yes. I'm... It's fine like this. What I'm doing right now is how long feels too long for a build-up phase. And mm -hmm. once we determine that, the speed is totally fine. Like, look how much time we spent in here looking at this timer. Now I guess feels like... I, I thought if... before I was like, six minutes is not enough. Danger. Imagine but you're I, a caster, I, right? I feel you now. Yeah. You know, and like... this is very important in the design of a focus tree. Once we determine how long this build-up phase is, we also know how how quick focus how many be. days we need exactly yeah, yes 10 we, days five days like two days what you're saying is we have let's say maybe three months so three months is how many days uh, like 90 it's close close to nine minutes nine minutes about okay and then so, if we have the day number like 70 80 or 90 days we then know how long focus should be uh to make exciting gameplay for example if one focus is 75 days even though the build up is 75 days that's a big mistake that's pretty wrong Yes. Uh, shows yeah. us the focus should be 10 days or something. Yeah. It starts to look like like three months seems perfect. That brings us to the point though of, of a personal of a date. It should be the first of a month just because it looks better. And mm -hmm. to debate yeah. is now first of February and first of March. Okay. This ties into a topic I wanted to ask everybody about here actually. I feel like we should start the game in a way that there should be build up, opening combat, and then winter. And winter should matter just like it mattered in war. And just like we have all of the fucking weather stuff we should lean in that we should use it that sounds, i think winter again, should like, come in the middle game that sounds like future stuff again what i like about this product is once we have a baseline this is a beautiful starting point for beautiful yeah. dlcs i want to call it. a weather dlc a snow dlc new heroes exactly. are added right that that's so beautiful it the map did. could have little changes and that's what paradox is going to love about this stuff. first of april is too long that seems already crystal clear first of april seems too long so then we do february so wait, first how long? First of March. No, no, first of March. The first of March. Okay. So it will be a six-minute build-up. What do you guys feel? What is the general feeling here? Well, well, this is loose. very important for development because if we talk about the first of March is the start date of the war, then we now can determine that uh, how many days is that? Uh, that is um, about ninety-ish. That's ninety days, and this is amazing because it now teaches us 
how to design an exciting early game. If a build-up phase is six minutes and 90 days, then there shouldn't be any focuses that are 50, 60 or 70 days. Because then the entire build-up is like, hey, I'm a caster. This player is doing the same focus for the entire build-up phase. Focuses seem to be very nice at, wait, it's 59 days? Oh. Yeah, we only, we only did two months, kind of. Yeah. Now, what that tells us, though, as developers, is if there's only a 59-day buildup, that focuses have to be, like, like 10 days or maybe even 8 days to make it exciting and a lot of choices happen, if that makes any sense to everyone. It yeah. also depends a little bit on how many starting focus options we've come up with, right? If yes, we come yes. up with 20 options, then we have to change the times and that. But you're totally on point. So yeah. 7 days is what? Like, about 10 total focuses. And if we have a few paths, you know, I, I don't know, like, what, 3 paths? We could have like what about three ish focuses for each path for the builder, something like that. Yeah, yeah it could be three that's and the, three, three, I mean, that, that's three nine, trees but... of three. And you have what I want as a caster, you know, that's why I was so much against insta focuses, it's too fast in ADHD. Yeah, and with yeah. these eight day focuses, and the gameplay yeah. isn't that fast. Uh, the caster and the community and the viewers, right? And this should be we want to get big views and a lot of players. Uh, is that we realize that the player can realize, oh, there's this focus being taken, my brain understands it, it's not too fast. Sounds great. Well, a couple of people seem to be mentioning continuous focuses. I'm not sure if they would fit. Maybe later. Maybe after the build-up. That seems like yeah, extra. Build, that seems like yeah. something to shop. Yeah, yeah, I fully agree. Yeah. One of the things we are fo like have added and focused on recently is getting vanilla up and running inside the map. Right? Is adding all of the integration for that. Uh, and one of the things I noticed in the Speed Five games, and I tell me I'd love to hear your opinion, is like all the things with like uh, having your agencies for a combat bonuses and stuff like that. Do we want to make sure those things are also sped up properly so that, example, you you start with an agency already, we cut that out, and if you want to go for the combat bonuses, you know, we adjust the amount of time it takes to put an agent over here, do the subterfuge or whatever the mission is, and get the combat bonus. Do we want to take that stuff and integrate it as well? and Because um, like, it seems to be like players want to use every tool at their disposal, yeah, 100%. right? Yeah, uh, 100%. I think we agree on the 1st of March. That's not... There's a 75-day approach, but that's... We're re reaching almost 10 minutes there, man. If we look at my timer that I have here. Uh, and that would mean... If, I say if we I... start with 60. 60, yeah, 60. 60, yeah, 60 which is about 6 minutes, which I mean I think is fast. It's 5 to 6 minutes. I agree minutes. with that, yeah. 60 minutes is actually a round number. The question is how much variation do you want to have with the 6-day focuses? Uh, what would be the variation that you could attain with these focuses? What could you pick? What would be like 2 examples or 3 examples of a 6-day focus that you could pick? So, like, let's off the top of our head, uh, you decide whether you want to go as like an early, middle or late game industry. If you mm -hmm. want to like have more upfront mills versus civ civs, or do you want to do less and more of the other one? Uh, mm -hmm. Or you can decide the like basic structure of your armed forces. So you like, I want a medium tank army. Um, I want to, I want to make sure some, I take some focuses here to have more logistics. I want more like uh, support equipment and trucks, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can make like kind of 10 of these options within the first, within the build up phase. I wouldn't necessarily go into like, you want to get spawned in the trucks, truck equipment, I think that's too much. I think focusing on the industry, if you want to go for sifts early or builds early, that's a good choice, certainly. And then on like your uh, basic starting kit, right? It's like a kit, you know, you want to start with some basic air technology or uh, perhaps air, uh, start with some light, medium, very easy things. I think that should be the focus on. So your medium tank focus would actually just get you the medium tank unlocked and then mm -hmm. within the build-up phase, it's your job to make your design and put it in production, which is sped up during the build-up phase. Yeah, it's very important that the players build what they want. So what I feel from Nath here is, will be, this is just very skeleton, will be this. The game starts, we don't have nations yet. You have mobile firepower, uh, superior firepower, uh, grand battle plan, and, and mass mob. And then let's say, for example, the player chooses uh, 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 mobile firepower, and then because it's only six focuses, right? We don't want to, it has to be fast. And the first focus uh, will be, and there's some navy in the air, whatever, but it would be this. You get one research bonus on a light tank, one research bonus on a, a, a medium tank, one research bonus on a heavy tank. And obviously it's a very fast research. And that already in the early game, well, this is just an example, will make the player go, okay, I'm choosing mobile warfare here. And that's also cool that the players don't know what the other one is doing. Oh, what if he actually, did he actually do mobile warfare? I don't know yet. And then they can decide, I want to do medium, heavy, or light. And let's, for example, say the heavy tank is a bit harder to research or production cost, obviously. And that's how they slowly start their build. They get 
research bonuses from us. We don't spawn divisions like Speed 5, like, hey, right here, you oh. spawn one heavy tanker. No, 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 we don't do that. We give them that option. That fits yeah, into our new into our build-up phase, right? Is that during the build-up phase, those two months to six minutes, production is is like is, like, is boosted so that you build your army very fast. And then when the build-up phase ends, we bring that away, oh, and wait, now wait, you wait, have wait. Like a you, normal you, production. You want to have a certain industry in the build-up phase, and then after 60 days, they lose these industries, these um, factories? That seems it's like... The buff, yeah, but... the, it's just oh, the buff it, in the build-up to building... It's production games. efficiency. So per, like... It's a production efficiency bonus. Oh, you guys are interested in because it, it seems like overcomplicating things, you know what I mean? So, if you look at normal build times for units, it's going to take you way too long our t to build tanks. 100%, um, yeah. yeah. It's... But so we have to give you more of a bonus that if you want tanks, you have to get a buff so you can build them yeah. before the batch starts. But couldn't there also be an approach where the bonus we give so to make the game faster is just constant from beginning to end? Once the again, bonus. imagine like StarCraft where the first five minutes are sped up and then suddenly the speed up goes away. The issue with the bonus, uh, the bonus is just to get the efficiency cap to maximum, right? When you mm. assign a factory, of, of course you know this, it has to get to the efficiency cap first. Because so it's still give a, a very high early uh, efficiency. Yes. Uh, yes. And what would happen if this buff was permanent? Um, people would just be switching around factories, and it would be too much of a macro, uh, well, macro mod, yeah. right? Where you would just once you again, know, you would so, put uh, sorry, sorry. on tanks, nothing else. Sorry if I interrupt, but I feel like we could just uh, ignore all these issues and this kind of thinking if we just give the players a very big base industry that already has. A lot of stuff going on. like the game doesn't start with free mills like they already have a lot of mills and well, right now we have 50. Uh, yeah that each. sounds great and then they can look at what they want to produce and we're kind of fine with that i mean in the end this is a, a micro base map it's a fast paced map they shouldn't really build 50 sifts during the gameplay right yeah yeah and, yeah and we help them out by giving them research bonuses in these uh focuses that are very fast uh, let's make an ima let's imagine something so naif is fighting uh, uh, Bjorn in a one-on-one, -on -one. and Nafe is like, I'm doing heavy tanks right now. So what he does is he opens his first focus, mobile firepower, uh, mo mobile mobile doctrine, sorry, and he then takes the heavy tank approach, which is just 10 days. So that means 20 days into the game, he's able to have a bonus on heavy tank uh, research. He then does that. The research is very fast. Let's I don't know. Let's say 10. I don't fucking know. It's fast, and then. He starts using some of his mills already 30 days in to build some heavy tanks. That's that's how his gameplay of heavy tanks will unfold in the build-up phase. Uh, I have a question for you. Are you opposed to the research just being unlocked? Oh, you, oh, you, you... oh okay. That's actually your approach. You're totally right. Uh, what we're saying, Chad, he's saying, if you take this heavy tank pick here, it just gives you the heavy tank research instantly. And you can start building it right now. There's no research. That actually makes like, more boom. sense. Than what I, that makes heavy tank sense. one mm -hmm. is unlocked. Boom. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I like that too. Um, yep. If you look at this, the first one is light tanks. The mid this one is medium. This is heavy tanks. Obviously, everybody is just going to take heavy tanks. What kind of approach can we offer a player to make mediums and lights? This is just an example of a balance uh, to make them more interesting to players. We could always just either nerf heavies or buff the stats of medium and light or you know, I, increase the speed, armor, that kind of thing. I think what the one methodology we should probably apply to this is that we want things to be fun and so instead of nerfing something we should try to always buff things to so if heavy tanks are sick great leave them where they are how do we make medium tanks as cool as heavy I tanks agree. now so we take the production you reduce production costs potentially across all medium tanks so that like yeah sure you have heavy tanks but i have three medium tank divisions for every heavy tank you have exactly. good luck trying to yes that's what i want to do and if we are lined on that that's agree. good and there's two okay, approaches to that number one you take a focus and it spawns something in, like Speed 5, but there's a better one, because once again, I want to have the player the freedom to what they want, and there was a guy in chat who has a beautiful approach. If I take the heavy focus, I get the heavy research, I can build them, sure. But I get also the focus, gives me 50 heavy tanks from the stockpile. If I take the medium one, it gives me 150 medium tanks stockpile, and the light one gives me like 500 light tanks in stockpile. So a player that actually has the balls to take light tanks, uh, sure has worse stats than the heavy yeah tank but, player but it's going to end up with two or three more divisions that could be used for the, micro more so really quick though you could you're contradicting yourself because if you want stockpile that means we have to give you a design so remember that yeah that's oh the okay can, Fuck yeah. so we can, we can, can do that give... that's where nations come in right so that's where like if you want to do nation like we do give you if you're american you get 500 sherman tanks you know like you we get, can do that can and, get, like, it, straight and those chassis. tanks are good at certain things but they're weak at certain things versus the germans which they get their heavy taggered one but they only get one division and it's super strong, but you only have one. You know, like that's where the nation stuff comes in. If you want to go down the stockpile path, I also like sure just really quick. The guy in chat is saying that also your choices Sorry. gives you certain generals. That's also kind of cool. How do you yeah. balance these choices? Because once again, everybody will just click on heavy tanks. How do you make the medium 
And, and for example, another example is everybody just sort of do CAS. How do you make them approach tactical bombers? We have to yeah. think about it. These are the same questions for air and navy, exactly. Exactly. We have to figure it out. But I think we did very good here in, in the first uh, yeah. approach. Anyway, chat, I, uh, please join the Discord, Tommy K Discord. We have a one-on-one -on -one hub. Right here, you can talk to people, you can test the mod with people, and most importantly, suggestions. This is a community approach. This is not some company offering this mod. This is our mod chat, us together with these amazing devs, so we can create something amazing that could lead. Dude, once again, my ultimate goal is that one day, there's a final game on ParadoxCon. I'm sitting there commentating, there's a live audience, and they're playing this mod in the grand finals. What are you still doing here, mate? Jeez! Well, if you want to see more, click these videos. Have fun. Looking good, boy.